Bible says the Lord be sola and the company. If you will not repent, judgment is on you. If you will not repent, the battle of Acts has been raised. But if you will repent, the God of prophet TV Joshua is merciful. He will, re he will relent and he will forgive you. Every backslider that is over the God of prophet TV Joshua, those that are being used deliberately, that says the Lord, repent. Repent for God Almighty will pay, will repay his servant. He will fight his battle. Hear this. Shilling for the backslider. And one shall say, she beat up, she beat up, prepare the way. Verse 15, for thus says the high and the lofty one, I love you God, God of prophet D.B. Joshua, who inhabits eternity, whose name is holy. I dwell in, in the high and holy place with the shim who has a contrite and a humble spirit. With the shim only who has a contrite and a humble spirit. To revive the spirit of the humble. And to revive the heart of the contrite ones. For I will not contend forever. Nor will I always be angry. For the spirit would fail before me. And the souls which I have made. For the iniquity of his covetousness. I was angry and struck him. Struck him. I shed away. And was angry. And, and he went on backsliding in the way of his heart. I have seen his ways and will shield him. I will also lead him and restore comfort to you, Bishola. The Lord is speaking to you. God of Prophet David Joshua is a merciful God. He's a God of great love. You see, he's not angry forever because he created you by his image and likeness. I say, if he say, I will not contend with men forever, lest I will finish the creation of my image and likeness. And God is calling you to repentance. Because if you will not repent, Revelation chapter 18 will be your portion. The fall of Babylon the great. If you will not repent, Revelation chapter 18 is your portion, Vishola. You spoke in PBC. The whole world has known. Houses and homes are knowing. And everybody is searching who is Prophet T.B. Joshua. Almost everybody in the world. Thank God. Because if certain you that persecuting Jesus or putting Jesus in the cross will have created this great damage. You will not have done it. If you knew, if you knew, Bishola, if you knew that you would not have gone to BBC, you would not have gone to BBC because Prophet David Joshua is famous and synagogue will never be the same again. It was free advertisement. It was free promotion. Now share this. Share this. If you will not repent, Revelation chapter 18 will be your portion and the likes of the fraternity of falsehood. The children of the great liar. The father of all lies. The twisted liar. Satan himself. After these things I saw another angel coming down from heaven. Having a great authority. And the earth was illuminated with his glory. And he cried mightily. With a loud voice saying Babylon. Babylon the great is fallen. Babylon the great is fallen. It will take an angel. The angel of the almighty God. To declare the Babylonian great city down. So this very moment. I cry with the angelic ghost. I cry with the angelic ghost. I cry with the 24 elders. And I cry, Babylon the great is fallen. Fallen is Babylon the great. Babylon the great is fallen. And has become a dwelling place of devils. 
a dwelling place of demons, a prison for every false spirit, a gauge for every unclean and hated bird. For all the nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. The fornicating Babylon spirit is falling down. The kingdom with his fraternity, with the children of falsehood, is falling down. Is falling down. Is falling down. Kuria mikota. Rosi kalaproshana. This darkness is falling down. By the word of an oracle of Shekinah. Babylon the great is falling down. The falsehood of Babylonian spirits. Children and the fraternity. The kingdom of Satan. The Babylonian spirit is falling down. Down. I cry with the angels of God. I cry with the angels of the sovereign God. Shekinah the Lord God of Israel. The one you've called me, hallelujah. I push Babylon right to the pit of hell in the name of Jesus. Oh, God of Israel, Babylon is falling down, is falling down, is falling down, is falling down in the name of Jesus Christ. Reba Kurye Diboro Nekosha. Arikandu Reba Goshanda. The Bible said, prophesy, O son of man, prophesy. For the dry bones will become flesh in the name of Jesus. Every satanic dry bone that has manipulated the true color of the synagogue church of nation is falling down. Is falling down. But the Bible says, blessed is a man whose quiver is full of sons. I am one product of the synagogue church of all nations. I am a daughter of prophet TV Joshua. I stand in the cup and I say you are falling down. Babylon the great is falling down. Babylon the great is falling down. Your kingdom is falling down. In the name of Jesus, your systems are falling down. For after prophet TV Joshua, the spirit of holiness righteousness took over right in the synagogue church of all nations. The woman in the synagogue is a carrier of the spirit of holiness and righteousness. The seven spirit of God. The seven spirit. The spirit of holiness and righteousness. That is why great things must happen. I unmask the spirit of Jezebel. According to Isaiah 47, 46 and 48. I unmask the spirit of Jezebel. I unmask the Babylonian spirit. Your kingdom is masked and your pension is unmasked. Right now, I declare your best. You are seated with new deity. You are unmasked forever. I declare Isaiah 63 that the Almighty God is fighting this battle. He is fighting the battle for his righteous ones. In the name of Jesus. Every knee must bow. Every tongue must confess that God Almighty, hallelujah, Jesus Christ is the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings. Touch not my anointed one and cause my prophets no harm. I stand in the shoes of Prophet TV Joshua. I stand as a servant of God under the cover of Prophet TV Joshua. I stand in the spirit of my mother in the Lord. Evelyn D.B. Joshua, I stand in the shoes of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I declare Babylon is falling down. Babylon is falling down. Babylon the great is falling down. You have murdered prophets and true prophets of God. You have murdered fraternity and fraternity of the apostles. But thou says the Lord, his word is living. His word is active. Hebrews 4, 12. In the name of Jesus Christ. Revelations chapter 18. Babylon decreed, you're falling down. I push you right into the pit of hell. And I lock you with the chi of David. With the prophetic keys in my shoulders. I lock you right now. I lock you right now. You will not stop revival. Hurkati, Hirkatabadu, Margusia Leba, Hargode Badados, Ariabo Shada. Why? Why are you raging? Oh, BBC. 
Why are you wretching? Isn't it because of the child of revival that you are trying to talk? Isn't it because of the child of revival that you are trying to, to, to destroy? Isn't it because of the kingdom of darkness that came together and wanted to kill the child of revival that was born in Kenya? Was born in Kenya. Kasarani, to be specific. Hello. I saw the way you were fighting the child of revival. I saw you were using the solar, the solar systems, the sun and the moon. And the kingdom of darkness was trying to kill the child of revival. And I told my people, we have to cry. We have to cry. Destruction has taken place in hell, in the pit of hell. In the kingdom of darkness cannot succeed. Shekaina. That is the anointing that you, Satan, was having. Shekaina. You were given those locans in heaven. You rejected. And I don't know who bewitched you. But you are not going to bewitch us. And you will not bewitch the world. I push you to where you belong. And I lock this kingdom of darkness. I tell you, where when a furuku yako, I lock you right in the pit of hell. Shekaina. Yes. For the spirit of the sovereign God cannot contend with you forever. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> for all the nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. The kings of the earth have committed fornication with Babylon. And the merchants of the earth have become rich through the abundance of her luxury. You are finished. You are finished forever. Revival. Child will never again be choked. You see, what you have done, what Satan has done is to cause men of God, women that have been given the cheese of revival, you know, <laughs> there is one overall key, but others have revival keys in their homes, families, districts, wherever they are, nations, towns. <laughs> you see, what the enemy has done is to, to fight you loose focus, fight that marriage. If you love the marriage so much, so much, Satan has been allowed to fight it. If you love your children so much, Satan has been allowed to fight them. If you love that money so much, Satan has been allowed to fight by all means. And that is why God is calling us for total surrender. Total surrender. Why like Job, like Job, Satan is shaking families. And he will not shake small timers. He will not shake people that have not been given tasks and assignments. Satan is shaking servants of God. Great servants of God with the deepest anointing. Why he has been permitted to shake that marriage. To shake that marriage. How do that marriage be shaken? Lucifer. With his kingdom of the Babylonian spirits. You see. Can attack marriage. Can attack children. And they have been doing. And they are doing up to now. And that is why God is telling you. Don't lose focus. Come this way. You see I love the way our mother in the Lord responded. That is our mother in the Lord. But we are her children. And our mother in Lord is Emmanuel, God with us. Hallelujah. Amen. But for me, I'm Shekinah glory. I'm an oracle. I am walking with thunder, fire, lightning. And so somebody is saying, oh, you're not emulating prophet T.B. Joshua. No, no, no. Listen to me. Listen to me. God cannot duplicate an anointing. I carry the glory of God. I carry right now. It was blueprint. Now it is oracle, fire, thunder, lightning. I speak as it is. And I'm a two-year child of the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Righteousness is holiness. And holiness is what is in me. And so, I carry the throne of judgment and mercy. Hallelujah. 
He said, please perish with your thoughts. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Amen. 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 You see, ukiona miti kabisa, miti, I wish you kushama tunda the same, ingine ni kubwa, ingine ni kidogo, sini kweli? Hallelujah. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Ingine ni hivi, ingine ni hivi, bwana yesu wa shivwe. Amen. So, sisi ni watoto wa muti, miti moja, lagini anointing kwa tafauti. I heard another voice from heaven saying, come out of her, my people, lest you should share in her sins. Come out of Babylon. Unless you receive of her blacks. For her sins have reached to the heavens. <laughs> and God has remembered her iniquities. Babylonian kingdom. Render to her just as she rendered to you. A repay shall double according to her works. In the cup which she has mixed. Mix double for her. Whew, hallelujah. Double portion. <laughs> Bisola. And your company a choke and all the rest. If you will not repent, this is your portion. God is giving you grace to repent. In the measure that is he glorified herself and lived luxuriously, in the same measure, give her torment and sorrow. For she says in her heart, I see it as, <laughs> as a queen. Are you getting it? I see it as a queen. And I am no widow. And I will not see sorrow. Goddess of darkness. Goddess of witches. Goddess of sorcerers. Therefore, her blacks will come in one day. Death and mourning and famine. And she will be utterly burned with fire. For strong is the Lord God who judges her. Don't you know that God permits his servants, his prophets, his oracles to judge? It is written. He has turned and he cards his servants with flames of fire. That is judgment fire. Share the word of God today. You have done enough have work for yourself. But not for God. Turn from your sin. Bishola Achoke. Go and repent openly to BBC. Tell them you lied. You committed falsehood against a true servant of God. Prophet Tibi Joshua. Arkasu Libraho Sheke Honde Libraosa. Ibibo Sheke Taru Sheke Hando. Bishola Achoke. And the group, I don't even know your names because I was not interested to see. Because I was not permitted to share all the nonsense, all the wickedness, all the evil you said about God's general prophet, D.B. Joshua. You should repent, says the Lord of hosts. On the third month, on the 14th of the third month, of this year. Thou says the Lord. Grace will end on the 14th. Of the third month of this year. Repent. Be sola. A choke. And the group. I don't even know your names. Because I was not interested to see. Because I was not permitted to share. All the nonsense. All the wickedness. All the evil you said about God's general prophet, D.B. Joshua. Grace is ending on 14th of the third month of 2024. You should repent, says the Lord of hosts. 